I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Makar Kadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to your Akim that's pushing this truth. This is the Brother Yakalam from the GMS Boston camp. And out of Juan Rathazar, through the Spirit, this lesson is edifying as well as the faith builder. This is the book of Acts 2 and 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I want to go into a dream that my um son, he's five, and my daughter's ten, that they both had around the same time. And um for like a week or so now, my son has been afraid to go down the hallway and use the bathroom because um when you look down the hallway, it's his sister's window. So, you know, I was telling one of the brothers and we thought, you know, maybe something might be in the house. But um so I finally got to see my daughter. You know, it's been a couple of weeks. We were in the living room, so I asked my son, I'm like, you know, how come you're afraid of it on the hallway? And he said he had a dream that it was just him and his brother in the house, and his brother's two, and there was a beam. Um, he said there was a green light outside the window, and it was basically calling out to him, and he said he was afraid, and that was it. And then my, um, my daughter was like, you know, that's weird, because I had a dream, too, that um, she said that. That we woke up, me, the wife, and her, and um, the boys were outside, and she said the boys got beamed up by an alien ship, and then she said we um, all three of us ran outside, and me and the wife were in front of her, and she said she got beamed up, and then she said when she was looking out the window of um, you know that alien ship being a chariot, she has said that um, there was another one that came and it beamed up. Me and my wife. So I asked her, I said, you know, who is in that chariot with you? And she said it was a man. You know, he had puffy hair, beard, um, dark skin, and he had on a, a like purple and gold and it was long. And you know, she was she was basically the um scribing a um um a garment and a you know, uh I don't want angel of the Lord. And you know, when I heard both dreams, I was like, damn man, you know, it's it's you know, it's beautiful how the Lord leaves faith builders, you know, because here I am thinking like, you know, my um son is afraid, you know, and he, 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 he still is, he still won't use the bathroom unless all the lights are on, but the, the um, point being for them to have those dreams and, and they not have the understanding of what it is, but to be able to have the understanding and cipher it with the scriptures is a beautiful thing in it. And it's actually a faith builder. You know, that's why I brought out the book of Acts 2 and 17. You know, because, you know, when we go out on the highways and byways and we do these lessons and we pray without ceasing, not only are we asking for the Lord to have mercy on us, but asking him to have mercy on our wives or on our children, you know? And if the Lord doesn't, because the Lord says, seek out your own salvation with fear and and, and salvation and the reality is a lot of us are going to be tried through our wives and through our children and we're going to have to be made um and we're going to have to make sacrifices and it was beautiful because elder Dharma mentioned something at camp yesterday saying that like you know we're going to have to make sacrifices as abraham did with isaac putting his trust solely in yahweh bashi yahweh shai you know i had shared a dream that my daughter had before you know just to recap that um she said like it was it was basically Jacob's trouble and I had to go into a store and I told her to stay with her two brothers and I couldn't imagine telling her, telling my daughter that's 10 to stay with her, you know, five-year-old and two-year-old brother while all hell is breaking loose and I'm going into a store to find something. And, and, and she, she said she heard a voice call out to her and when she looked up in the sky, she said it was a so-called black man with a white hair beard. And he said, don't be afraid. And she asked him what his name was. And he said, Yahweh, like, those are faith builders because in the time that we're coming in, we may not be around our children. We may not be able to get to our children. We may not be able to get to our wives because we're on the move. And we're going to put our trust in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. 
And when they had those dreams of being beamed up, it's beautiful because you know what's going to happen to this place. You know, it tells you in the book of Revelation 18 and 4, you know, how the Lord says, come, um, matter of fact, I'm going to grab it. It says Revelation 18 and 4. And it says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. So this place is going to be hit with those ICBM missiles. And even before that, all the Jacob's trouble. You may not be around your family. Well, you may be in a predicament where he may want you to denounce the Lord. And he got your children and he got your wife. They're going to get put to death. We pray the Lord puts the spread on us to endure. Because I mentioned in the show before, all spirits belong to the Lord. You know, if those children perish or the wife perish or even you perish, that was the will of the Lord. You know, and what did the Lord say? The things we lose on this side, he'll give us back. The Lord knows what our, the Lord knows the, the desires of our hearts. It's not just women or, 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 or gold or slaves like that. It's also for our children. It's for our family. But once again, the scripture says the Lord will have mercy on who, whom he wants to have mercy on. You know, I've had dreams, you know, of just going through Jacob's trouble and being beamed up into a chariot and an angel telling me, you know, the the uh, wife and the baby's okay. You know, all these are comforters. Once again, the Lord put 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 spirits, put our dreams um so I lock y'all in. The Lord put dreams on us, even down to our children. And the beautiful thing that, you know, for us Archim that are um able to be around our children, you know, the water Yahweh by Shema Shai, we've been able to teach them the true name of the Lord. You know, my daughter, my son five knows the Lord's true name that in their time of trouble that they may, you know, that that they may not be around us, that they can call out to the Lord. And that's a beautiful thing. You're going to have people. I think about Christians, old people running around calling on Jesus and you got young children. Even those children that may not be able to talk, the Lord will still have mercy. The point being is you have children calling on the true name of the Lord. That's a beautiful thing. That's a blessing. That is a blessing right there. You know, so I'm going to read this um precept once again. I'm going to end this off. I just want to share the, um, you know, the uh, dreams of my children. And I hope it was very edifying as well as a faith builder. This is Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Um, and he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only when then thy eyes, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, therefore there there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, but he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear up they shall bear thee up in their hands. Least thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt thread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. You know? And this is now Adoran deserve what found worthy to receive that mercy as well as our family. And this is why, man, we, we, you know, we continue to labor, you know. So I hope this lesson once again was edifying as well as a faith builder. And I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makar Kadash, to belong to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to you, Arkham, that's pushing his truth. Till next time, Yashalala. Shalom.